Alright, today we are going to be unboxing this Hornady M1 case tumbler. The reason I bought this was my old RCBS one bit the dust. It's the closest thing that I can get to that model of RCBS I had because that unit seems to be discontinued or I can't buy it anywhere. The biggest reason I went with this Hornady was because this has the sifter that mounts to the top of the unit, as you can see here. This is how my RCBS was set up, and that's why I wanted another unit just like that. I like having that sifter mounted on top to where I can just flip it upside down back into the container to dump my media into after I'm done tumbling the brass. Let's get this unboxed, see what's all in here, and then we're going to set it up and start running it. All right, here we go. Get this tape cut. Ah, right, here's our lid. That thing's pretty cool. I like how it's clear like that. Alright, got our wing nuts, our bolt, tool. All right, looks like we're just going to have to lift this whole thing out of here. Let's just lay it on its side. Got the sifter. Our bowl. And we've got the bottom unit. So I can already tell this is one thing I don't like about it. This does not have the removable cord like the RCBS, but that's okay. We'll live with it. All right, and the last two things we had in the box, the instruction manual and the product guide. And that's it. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is get this assembled. All right, so this is the bolt. The nut was already on it. Put a washer on here. And we're going to thread this right into the top of the unit. You got this wrench that came with it. Down on there. And we'll snug that. Now, the next thing we're going to do. Put the bowl in. Got another washer. Got the wing nut. Okay, and then the last part, after you would fill this with media, put the cover on it. Put the washer on. And the wing nut. So that's that. 
All right, when you're done and you want to separate the media from the brass, put the sifter on, the washer, and then the wing nut. And that's it. So we got our on off switch here on the bottom. Turn it on. Pretty quiet, but it's empty right now. First thing we're going to do is pour this media in there. One thing I want to talk about, as you can see, is this, how well it's churning the media here. And that's another reason I went with this, because of the cone in the middle of it. And one thing that I've noticed watching reviews on YouTube and looking in the forums, that's the main reason a lot of guys didn't like the Frankfurt Arsenal model, is because of not having the cone in the middle. And my RCDS had this one. So it's moving that media pretty good. So, so far I'm happy with this. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of this metal polish in here from Lucas Oil. I use this, every time I tumble brass in my old RCBS dry tumbler, I use this polish. This stuff works really good. I'm going to get a little bit of this in there. Alright, so you can see we got some clumps here from the polish. We're going to let this run for a couple minutes that stuff will eventually break up and then we're going to add some brass all right we got about 150 pieces of nine millimeter brass here we're going to go ahead and dump that in and we got one more of these full So now what we're going to do is we got about 300 pieces of 9 millimeter brass in here now. We're going to let this run for two hours. We're going to come back. We'll pull a few pieces of brass out. We're going to see how clean they are. We're going to turn it on again and we're going to let it run another two hours. I guess I kind of want to torture test this thing a little bit. So I want to run this thing for about eight hours to see how well it holds up. Now reason being I'm doing that. We all know we don't need to tumble our brass for that long. but. There were a lot of times with the RCBS that I would let it run overnight while I was in bed. So sometimes that thing would run for 8 to 10 hours straight. That's kind of what I want to do with this. So we'll just kind of alternate every couple hours. We'll come back, we'll pull some brass out, we'll see how clean it's getting. We'll let it run for two more hours, we'll do that again. So on and so forth till we get to 8 hours of tumbling time on this unit. Okay, we're going to put our cover on. Put our washer on, and our nut, sorry now I'm putting my arm in the way I'm left handed, let me at least get this started. Turn it back on. Alright. I'll see you guys in two hours. Okay, it's been two hours. Shut this off. Pull a few pieces of this brass out. Alright, so that's after two hours. Not looking too bad. I definitely load it now, but I think it can go a little longer. So we're going to let it run two more hours, we'll come back check it again. Alright, we are at the four hour mark, Let's shut this down. A 
few pieces of this brass out again. Oh yeah, that stuff's looking good. Not a whole big difference between the two hours and the four, but a little bit. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, let's do this again. See you guys in two hours. All right, six hour mark. All right, that's after six hours. Definitely cleaner than they need to be. We don't need to run them any longer, but we're still going to do the eight hour test. Well, it's been eight hours. Shut this off. This thing opened up and Well, we'll get this mounted on top of here. Alright, I got this big tub. This is what I dump my media into when I'm done. So we're going to... This is what it looks like after being in the tumbler for eight hours. Turned out really good. Okay, one thing I noticed that the media tends to stick to the inside of this more than what it did on my RCBS one. Not a real big deal, I'll wipe it right out of there, but the inside of this is not as smooth as what the RCBS was. Now maybe over time, the more I run it, the better it'll get, but that's one thing to take into consideration too. Is all in all, I'm real happy with this thing. One other thing I wanted to show you when you're done using it, let's put that on. This will actually fit right on top of it. So that's pretty cool. So you can store it all together. Put your wing nut back on it. and That's what it looks like when you're ready to store it away. Alright, let's talk about the pros of this thing. Uh, I really like it. I looked, uh, I went back and found my receipt from RCBS when I bought it, and it was uh, $129.99 what I paid for it at Cabela's, and this was $85.99. As far as the brass cleaning goes, it works just as good as my RCBS. After running it for eight hours, nothing down here got hot. Didn't even really get warm. So, it ran good for eight straight hours. I'm not going to do that to it all the time, but... It was just something I wanted to see how it would hold up. I like the sifter on this. It works good. Nothing was coming out of the sides or out of the bottom under here. It That worked good. So really, I only have two complaints about it. I didn't like how all that media was sticking to the inside. And then it also was sticking really bad to the underside of this sifter too. But And the second thing is this not having the removable cord kind of makes it a pain when you're flipping it upside down to shake it out. I liked on the RCBS, it pretty much had like a cord on a computer where I could just disconnect it to dump it out. But other than that, those are the only two complaints I have about it. it. Works good. It's light. It's actually smaller than the RCBS as a whole. So it'll take up less space on the bench when I'm not using it. Well, in closing, I'll say I highly recommend it. I'd buy it again, and it was $45 cheaper than what I paid for the RCBS. So if you need a dry tumbler, this is a good one to buy.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.